Hey, Sun here, I'm a privacy and a security researcher and you're watching The Privacy Guides. In today's episode, I wanna show you guys how to install DNS over HTTPS system-wide on iOS and Mac OS. There are a few caveats, they're all on the reference material, which I'll link down there in the description. So, uh, yeah, on iOS, it's actually pretty straightforward. If you go onto this guide, which again is linked down there in the description, uh, all you really wanna do is start by disabling lockdown mode which is a bit counterintuitive, but you can enable it right away after. Then you wanna download this configuration profile, click allow, and then if you go into settings, you'll see profile downloaded up there at the top. You wanna to click on this, it says not signed. Don't worry, it's on GitHub. You can review it before blindly installing it. It's just uh, XML, so you'll be able to review it quite easily. Click install, put your password. This is a demo phone, so it's really a bad one. Please don't tell anyone that I use that. Um, okay, and then you wanna test it to see if everything's cool. So you wanna go here uh, and click on this website from Malvad, and you wanna make sure that it says no DNS leaks. On macOS, it's pretty straightforward, but before we do this, uh, here's a little ad break. This episode is brought to you by my app, Superbact. If you don't know what Superbact is, it's a way to back up sensitive secrets such as master passwords, TOTP recovery tokens, or mnemonics in the context of crypto. When you have a hardware wallet such as the cold card, which is amazing by the way, uh, the thing holds your secrets. If ever this breaks, you need to have a backup. So the way this usually works is in the box is included a little piece of paper where you're asked to put your 24 words. When I discovered this initially and all vendors do this, it kind of freaked me out. I wanted a better way of doing it uh, and it didn't really exist. So I had to make it. So Superbact is really amazing for this specific problem. The way it works is you type in your mnemonic. Uh, if it's highlighted like this, means it's good. Now you're wondering, I should never do this on my everyday computer and you're right. For this, they're super back to OS. It's a version of Ubuntu that can run on a computer and it's amnesic by design, all of which is explained in the docs and the FAQs, which I'll link down there in the description as well. Then you put a passphrase or you have it generate one that's cryptographically secure. And then you wanna choose the backup type. Two of three is really cool. What that means is it creates a set of three blocks uh, this is kind of what they look like. And what's really amazing about this is each individual block, even if you have the passphrase, you cannot access the underlying secret. You need to have consensus among two of three, which means you can put one in a safe deposit box at the bank, one is with your lawyer, and the third, you can make as many copies as you want and hand it over to your loved ones and give them the password. What that means is if ever you die, they need to have access to your safe deposit box or to an attorney to be able to recover the secrets, which makes this one of the best technologies that I've seen, or maybe the best for succession planning. Uh, okay, back to the episode. Uh, if you wanna set this up on macOS, there are a few more caveats uh, that I will mention. One of which is, again, some apps bypass system-wide Malvad DNS over HTTPS, Paul Miller has a repository with a whole bunch of other providers, which you should absolutely look at. And some of those caveats are uh, explained or outlined. The one that really stand out for me is, uh, or stood out is Little Snitch. If you have Little Snitch or Lulu running on your computer, you cannot have both this and system-wide DNS over HTTPS, which means Little Snitch will uh, take pre precedence. I don't know if that's the right word in English, but. Uh, DNS over HTTPS will not be enabled because little snitch wins, which is good. Uh, and for that, you should absolutely still configure Firefox to use DNS over HTTPS as a fail safe. I'll link to the episode down there in the description. Um, and yeah, for sensitive use cases, you should use Tor or use Tor on Tails, which is even better. So uh, step one is disable lockdown mode. If ever it's enabled, uh, you can enable it afterwards. You wanna download the configuration profile, then you wanna click on system settings, you wanna type profile here, click profiles, click plus, uh, select the file we just downloaded, and then again, you can review it, it's there on GitHub if you want, and say install. And once this is done, uh, whoops, let me just put my finger here. Oh, come on, come on, come on, yes. Uh, you wanna make sure also that there's no leaks, same as what we did on iOS. So if you click here, uh, it will run a test. 
and you wanna make sure that it says no DNS leaks. So that is all I have for you today. Hopefully that was insightful. Smash the like button and I'll see you soon. Bye.